Hello everyone, Spinner's the 12. And Plasma Beats Audio here. Doing our first non-original character video review. Yep. Okay, these mocks belong to Sky Shadow, uh, one of the guys doing voiceovers for Rocky Wars. And you will be hearing his voiceovers in the next episode. He'll be actually voicing these two characters. Yeah. Uh, we really liked his mocks, and we really liked his uh, voiceovers, so we decided, you know what? We need new characters, we're too lazy to come up with our own, so let's see what everyone else has got. And we were really happy with some of the results. Alright, so first we'll be starting off with the obvious, more complicated of the two, Stingblade. Now, unlike the original, I tried to make it as close as I can, but the original has lots of Hero Factory pieces and I barely have any. Because I haven't really bought any toys at all recently, and kind of done that. Well anyways, I just try to stick to the same color scheme, the same as in he has a lot of spikes, like the original. He, uh, he has a Hercules beetle. He has a similar head to that one character that was um, Matanui's pet in the movie. Yeah, I believe his name is Click. Yes. So I tried to keep the head similar to that because he was also a stag beetle-like creature. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he has the abdomen up here. Some nice, Tons of spikes. Some nice sort of like exoskeleton armor on his yeah. back. Yeah. Finally found a use for these Takanuva staff pieces, which like no one really uses that much in their mocks, and I had a lot left over. So uh, yeah, let's get his transformation started. Like the original, his beast mode head stays straight up in robot mode for whatever reason Sky Shadow wants to. Maybe to make him look more armored and spiky. It works. So oh, you don't have to move the head. And before we start, can I just say, be wary about the legs. Um, we Our pieces are falling apart because of yeah, the copy plastic. We have lots of mocks, you know, by now, and all our all that stuff over are the more worn down pieces. Yes. Yeah, so, so if anything falls apart, just let me know. It's going to happen. Yeah. So. Alright, I'm going to try to be as careful as possible. What you want to do is first, the very back legs here, you have to twist them over, and these joints here are really like on the verge of cracking so I'm gonna be very careful and slow sorry about that ooh that didn't sound good well yeah forms into his back I'm just gonna go do the other one off camera because you already know what it looks like and I'm gonna be a bit more careful there we go so it looks like that he has a ton of back spikes to protect him from any ambushes from the back now his abdomen this is a cool part it splits off and becomes his robot mo legs, which are raptor bended, as you can see. Like that. And then you just flip them to the side like this, and you can stand them down now. Now the rest is pretty straightforward. You just bend down his robot mode head, and these arms become his robot mode arms. Lol. And yeah, he has four sets of arms, which is a first for our Rocky Wars Transformers, because we tend to keep them a little more humanoid. Yeah. Then like <laughs> Michael Bay. <laughs> and um, some this is this is something that I really like when I look at um, some of our mocks. This one actually follows what his like I don't know beast form looks like. He's got six legs in beast form and he's got relatively the same amount of appendages now. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so there we go. This is my interpretation of Stingblade in robot mode. Yeah. This is how he will be he will be appearing in Rocky Wars next episode, which will be out in I don't know about a month or two, because you know school's coming up now and I'm gonna be really busy with it. But it's going really good. We've got all of our voices done finally, and uh, it should be out pretty soon. Yeah, we're gonna try to speed it up, even with all the stuff happening in school, and yeah. All right. So now next on character. Now on to Zap. This little guy is like... He's like, um, basically the golem of Rocky Wars. Yeah, he's Oh, like... and comparing them to other famous people, he is like the General Grievous of Rocky Wars, because he's like, very violent, he's very harsh to his troops, and he has four arms. Yes. Okay, back to Zap. So as you can see, Zap transforms into Zesk. That's what he is, basically. And his transformation, just like the original, is super duper duper simple. Um, all you have to do is really just stand him up. That's it. He has the simplest transformation of any of the characters so far, but 
We're keeping it original. We're keeping it as closest to the original as we can. Oh man, this is so saber esque. Yeah, this is very similar to our saber, who was similar in the way that. In season one, when saber, yeah. when we had saber. And this is the new saber. If you haven't seen them in Rocky Wars. That's the new saber. Old saber was like freaking. Yeah, he's kind of half taken apart because remember he got beaten up by Wingblade and Vampiria in the last episode. Oh, saber. saber. But don't worry, he'll be back and kicking butt soon enough. Yep. Um, oh yeah, so anyways, back to Zest. This is a little crazy freak in robot mode. The one thing is, um, Stingblade had these little, like, claw arms that I don't know where he got them from, but I don't have them. If I had them, I would have used them. But he's just stuck with these old Matoran hand pieces. So that's pretty much it. This is Stingblade. And, I mean, and Zap and Stingblade, sorry about that. Yeah. And let's just get them together. The two are working together in the Assassin Squad, which, as you will we'll find out soon, they're the squad charged with hunting down important Maxion soldiers and eliminating them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Turn to 12. And, and Fazbitario signing out. Signing out. See you guys.